All right, guys, welcome back to Jerk Block Talk. I'm Jason Fernandez, this is CrossFit Rife. Um, it is the 5 p.m. class. The humidity here is terrible today, so the heat in here is pretty bad. Uh, but here's what we're gonna discuss today. Uh, some of you guys might be saying, God, he spends a whole lot of time talking about warm-ups and getting ready for the workout. The reason we spend a lot of time on that stuff is because that group management and presence and attitude is basically one third of how we would evaluate a coach. Uh, your ability to manage a group, whether it's in the warm up or when the workout starts, uh, tells the, the members that walk in your gym kind of what kind of coach you are. And the real theme here about all of this stuff is you need to dive into the minutia and be better. That's the whole point of this whole thing, building better coaches, be better, evaluate yourself as a coach, figure out which of those six criteria you're weakest at, whether it's teaching, demonstrating, presence and attitude, uh, seeing and correcting, or um, group management. Find out what you're weak at, attack that, okay? So today what we're gonna talk about is, most of you have had this experience in the gym, it's when you have a lot of people in the class and like how do I manage that? And the way we like to think about it here in the gym is we like to call it thinking in plus one. Okay, and what am I talking about when I say plus one? Today is a perfect example. So today the first part of the workout is a uh, strict press. So we're going five, three, one, heavy five, heavy three, heavy single. Uh, and if you look over there, I have all the weightlifters over there too. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's a heavy day for us. As far as people that are gonna be in here, I'm gonna have full CrossFit classes, but I'm also gonna have a ton of weightlifters in here. So in an instance like this, when they're gonna need all the squat racks and we're gonna need all the squat racks, I always wanna think plus one. And when we say plus one is, regardless of what the workout is, regardless of how many people you have in the class, when you as a coach wake up in the morning or you're looking at it the day before, thinking about how you're gonna set up your class, always think like this. I'm gonna have one more person, then I'm gonna have squat racks, or one more person, then I'm gonna have barbells, or one more person, then I'm gonna have pull-up bars. If you think like that, it's not gonna catch you off guard when you have 15 people in the class and you only have 10 rowers. Okay, what it's gonna do is you're gonna have to get a little bit more creative about how you run your class, thinking about your timeline, but what's gonna do is gonna make you really, really, really organized, which provides your members a better experience and makes you a better coach. So like today, I've got eight squat racks in the pull-up rig, the class here, seven, my class before was about 10 people. Um, so in that case, we're gonna pair people up on something like that. So we don't need to have 10 squat racks for people to do presses, uh, and then when we get to the Little, the short little Metcon afterwards that has strict presses in it again, they'll pull it from the floor. But what I need to do is, I need to make sure that I deconflict what's going on over there so the weightlifters can have the squat racks over there, but we also need the squat racks as well. Again, so if you do yourself a huge favor and you always think plus one, you'll be prepared for those scenarios, okay? Again, if you have any questions, comments, put them in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, other than that, be better, that's the theme of this whole thing. Dig into yourself as a coach, find out what you're weak at, attack that, it's gonna make you a better coach and it's gonna provide a much better experience for the athletes that walk in your gym. Cool, like us on Facebook and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.